hello guys welcome back to my channel here's another recipe from prime side if you're new to this channel please hit the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber remember that i love you so much so today we're going to be seeing how we made this brightening face cream that is so fluffy and beautiful and it will give you a flawless skin and also will help to moisturize the face so if you're interested in how we made this from scratch stay tuned So firstly, we are going to start by making the cream base. Here, I'll be making 200 grams of my cream base. And first, I'll be measuring my water phase consisting of my distilled water and my vegetable glycerin. So I'll be having my water phase to be 100 grams and my oil phase to be 100 grams as well. So here is my distilled water and vegetable glycerin. I'm going to set this aside and then I'm going to measure my wax. So here I'll be measuring my e-wax. I need 40 grams of my wax. So I'll be having e-wax, cetyl alcohol and my steric all together to be 40 grams. All right, so the three waxes are 40 grams collectively. So I'm going to set this aside and measure my oils. And I'll be needing 60 grams of my oil. So here I will have 20 grams of jojoba oil. And then I also have 20 grams of my pure almond oil. And then after this, I'll also be using my freshly made carrot oil, 20 grams as well, to make up to 60 grams. Okay, so here I kind of got 63 grams, but it's fine. I'm just going to eye gauge and remove 3 grams because I need just 60 grams. So here's my distilled water. And then for my wax, I'm going to mix my wax with my oils before I double boil all right so I just kind of left those little oils to make up the three grams that was extra and here I'm gonna double boil this on a low heat for about five minutes and then I'll bring it right back so here's my distilled water and here is my oil <laughs> so checking if the wax are completely melted and then i'm um, simultaneously adding the water and the uh, oils together and using my stick blender i'm going to be blending immediately now we're going to keep blending until our cream base becomes thick it becomes thick as it cools down so i'm going to leave for a while and then come back again and then i'll stay as you can see it's already becoming thick and fluffy so i just keep blending with my stick blender until i get my desired consistency i always advise whenever you're making a cream base that it should always be thick so that when you're when you're mixing to get your product you can always manage the consistency so these are cream base this cream base can be used for um, several um, products can be used for hair product and uh, can be used for body lotion body cream face cream and what have you so i'm adding just one gram of our preservative to keep this um, cream base for a longer time so just one gram of i use gemma plus preservative for this so i'm gonna mix until i get a very creamy texture and then i'm gonna set this aside to cool before we mix into our face cream 
Okay, so here I'm mixing into our fish cream. I have 50 grams of my whitening glycerin and 20 grams of my snow white oil. Also, I have five drops each of different essential oil. I used chamomile essential oil. I used um, black seed essential oil. And then I used chalendula essential oil. And then I'm going to be mixing this thoroughly. These three oils have brightening effect and it also have corrective effects that is going to remove spots and blemishes from the face, hyperpigmentation, sunburn and the rest of it. It's going to brighten the face because this face cream is mainly for brightening. So I'm going to mix this together until I get my consistency. Also, I'm going to be going with about 10 ml of my turmeric oil and about 20 ml of carrot oil. And then I'm still going to mix carrot oil and turmeric oil. They are also brightening oils and so they'll make a perfect face cream okay so what happened here is i added about 20 ml of my glue oil into this face cream yeah i mean the glue oil in my recent recipe the recipe before this one on my channel the glue oil is really nice and beautiful and it really brightens the skin so i thought it wise to put to add a little i actually did it off the video but i'm just telling you because i want to be sincere and i want you to love your product so i used about 20 ml of the brightening oil into this all right so i kind of like the consistency i've got and i'm okay here so i'm just gonna go ahead to add my fragrance here i'll be using um strawberry fragrance i like strawberry and i miss this with vanilla so it's gonna give me a beautiful uh, fragrance and then i add a little red pigment a very little because i do not want a red color i want something that looks like a pink or a peach color so i use a very little of my red pigment for this to uh okay yeah this is a face cream so i wouldn't want to add too much color so it doesn't have to stick to the face so this is perfect for me i'm going to give it a final blend with my whisk and of course it's going to give us a fluffy and beautiful paste here i have my face cream and it's so beautiful and lush i'm going to be transferring into my little glass jar especially made for face creams and and tiny little things like this and of course our face cream is ready see how beautiful it looks and i know this video was helpful to you please if it was please give this video a thumb up do well to subscribe hit the subscribe button hit the subscribe button please hit the subscribe button and turn your notification bell so you can always get a video whenever i make them Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and keep up with our skincare tips that we drop on our Instagram page. And do well to join us in our next video. I love you all. Bye.